So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Supreme Fall 119 shoulder bag. Overall, I think this is a really nice bag and I highly suggest you guys picking it up. So today I'm gonna to do a review and show you what it looks like. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. So now on to the review. So starting off, this bag retails for $48. So not too bad considering last season's bag was $88. So huge price drop from last season. I don't know why last season's bag was $88. It was pretty much the same size as this, honestly. So I don't know what Supreme was thinking, but really happy they lowered the price. Just, I think that'll help the value in the long run just because more people are likely to buy this. So just giving you guys a quick look on both sides of the bag. Whole bag is in this black cordura fabric as you can see from the tag. So starting off, Supreme on the front so everybody knows you have a Supreme waist bag. And then this front pouch is Velcro, so it's not very big, you can't really fit a phone, but you can fit a wallet in it, so just have a little pocket organizer from Louis Vuitton. That fits in pretty much perfectly, so Velcro to keep it nice and secure. You won't be able to fit a phone in here unless you have like a little iPhone 4S, but I doubt anyone has one of those these days. If you have a wallet or card holder, that are like around this size, it'll easily fit in here. If you have like a, a bifold wallet, it probably won't fit. Uh, that's what this pocket will be for. So unzipping this, this is a lot bigger that you probably can't see inside, but let me get my phone. Got my Supreme phone right here. That fits in there pretty much perfectly. So if you have like a iPhone X or whatever the big one's called, that'll easily fit and it also zips. Pretty nice, you can fit your phone in this pocket. So really nice for like a party or like traveling in case you don't wanna have your phone in your pocket and if you're like getting pickpocketed or so it just doesn't fall out of your pocket. So just keep your phone nice and secure so you don't lose it. So that's what I'm sure this pocket's for. And you can also fit like a bigger wallet if you have like a wallet bigger than what the one I showed you for this pouch is. And then on the back, pretty simple, just two little clips for where the strap goes, which I'll show you. And there's also a removable like metal clips. I think what this is for is you hook it on your belt loop or something for your pants in case you don't want to use the strap. So I think that's also a really nice touch. Um, I know last season's bag didn't have this. I'm pretty sure it didn't, but I could be wrong. I'm almost positive it didn't come with this. So make sure to comment down below if it did. I think this is just a really nice touch. It would have been really sick if they had like Supreme on here or something. I think that would have been really dope. So now going to the main pocket, when you first buy it, that's where the strap is. So I'll pull that out. Here's the strap. It's just a basic little strap with plastic clips, so nothing too special. But here's how big the inside of the bag is. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Pretty simple on the inside. There is a zip pocket in the back, which you could also put your wallet in case you don't want it on an outside pocket. Just a little more secure keeping in this one, but if you need a quick access to your wallet, definitely put it in this pouch. I think that's what that one's better for, but or you could put your phone in here. I think this is big enough for a phone, unless you have like a really big phone. But this main pouch is pretty big. You could easily fit a phone and your wallet in here and your car keys. You can't really fit much else in here just cause it's not like too big of a pouch. Cause here's my phone. It's pretty much two, phone, two of my phone across. So you aren't, you aren't gonna be able to fit like a water bottle or something in here. That's what the waste bag or the backpack would be for. So now I'm gonna put the straps on and show you what it looks like while wearing it. So now onto that part. So as you can see, I have the strap on the bag, so I'm not gonna adjust it. So let's see if I can put this on first try. So here's what it looks like. I'll zoom out the camera. So I'll, here's what it looks like. It's gonna look weird just cause I haven't adjusted the strap, but it probably should be like sitting like close to your hip, but the strap is super thin. So if you don't want like a strap this thin, make sure to keep that in mind. Uh, this bag is like pretty small on like a person. So that could be good or bad depending on how you look at it. If you want a small bag, this is good. But if you want something that holds a bit more stuff, this one probably won't work for you. So that's it for me wearing the bag. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look on what it looks like while wearing it, just in case you haven't bought it yet and you wanted to see how it looks. So that's pretty much all for the video. Overall, this is a really nice bag. I think it'll be really popular as the season goes on just because it looks pretty good in my opinion. So we'll see how it ends up doing after the season's over. I personally think it'll do pretty well in the resale market, but we'll just have to wait and see. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and also leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. And comment down below what's your favorite bag from this season. Uh, personally, mine's the backpack, but I'd be really interested to see what your guys' are. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.